Thanks so much. And thank you, Joey, so much for being with us today. Um, so much to talk about here. You wrote a very interesting letter to your shareholders. And I just have to point out your stock is up about 3.5%, but it is still down about 44% year to date. In your letter to shareholders, you write that you think that this downturn in stock prices is going to continue. And that means it's time for companies like yours to start proving. What is your outlook and what does that proving mean? Well, our two biggest businesses right now are Dot Dash Meredith, which is the product of an acquisition we just completed a few months ago and, and really created a, a new company in publishing, merging the, the digital publisher with the print publisher. And we have to show what that looks like. Uh, and that means showing that this company can grow digital revenue. Uh, and deliver real profits. And I think we'll prove that over the course of this year, but that's that's certainly the first one. And the second one is Angie, our other biggest business. We've made enormous reinvestment in that business over the last uh, year, really two years. And what we, we really changed everything in the business. We changed the management, we changed the brand. We invested in a whole new segment of the business called the services business. And we now need to prove that we can drive profits in there, but we meaningfully reinvested the profits in that business to, to uh, grow the top line and, and complete a transformation. So, Joe, you also talked in your letter to shareholders about you think there's a great buying opportunity right now. Um, you've traditionally invested in and, and, and grown all sorts of different companies. Where is there the opportunity right now for IAC? Um, I, I really think I, we're most likely to continue to focus on digital, uh, and we always preference our existing businesses over new businesses. Uh, but as I mentioned, our, our two biggest businesses are really focused on execution right now and, and have just done some, some big moves. And so it, that's really more delivering on those. But I think we are more likely to focus uh, uh, externally um, or there's opportunities in our own stock, too. One of the things we've done in, in markets like these is uh, consider repurchasing our own shares. And, and you can do some math that suggests that uh, shares in IAC, uh, you get a lot of assets for free. Uh, in in buying shares in IAC. Joey, uh, welcome. It's John Fort. So my question is about the data that you have and what that does for you. Do you have an ecosystem benefit from the collections of businesses that you have that gives you a signal on what out there in the marketplace is worth buying? And does that data, first-party data, help you to get around some of the issues with, uh, with iOS uh, and Google to some extent, and the lack of targeting ability? Sure. So there's a lot in that question. One thing I'll say is we don't share the data across IAC businesses. On the second part of your question, it's it, it's very much on a by-business basis. So at Dot Dash Meredith, that business is doing very well right now. And Dot Dash, uh, prior to the acquisition of Meredith, was doing very well on the basis of what you just said, which is we don't need that data. When somebody comes to one of our properties looking for a vacuum cleaner, we have a pretty good idea that they're likely looking for a vacuum cleaner. Uh, maybe we could also say they're they're looking for some Advil or a medicine or, or something that might be related to that. But, but we generally know what they're looking for. And so that allows our ads to perform. And that allows those ads to perform without any other information. We don't need to know any of their personally identifiable uh, information. We don't need their cookies. We don't need uh, some of the tracking things that have been eliminated recently in the market. And that's a real advantage. The other thing there is that because our content is clean, meaning we are responsible for all of it, even the UGC yep. content, which is recipes, we've edited every recipe on there. So. Uh, uh, for us, it's, it's a clean, well-lit environment for advertisers, and that's a big alternative to uh, uh, some of the existing platforms. 